Hello there, my Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your October half of True Love Reading. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, professional witch and professional intuitive, doing it on YouTube for you all. Uh, available for private reads in person if we're local, <laughs> if you're local to where I am on Long Island, uh, Manhattan to Montauk. I have a car, I can drive. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all my infos down there. I also do Facebook uh, messenger reads, which are the easiest, uh, Skype and all that stuff, as well as good old-fashioned telephone. Yeah, so we can make it work. Uh, all the decks that I'm using for this read are in the description box below. In fact, there's a lot of info in the description box below. I'm a Virgo. You feeling me, my Capricorn? Yeah, I got the deets in there a lot. Uh, links and all. <laughs> So uh, we're doing something a little bit different this time, uh, your path of true love read, because as a Virgo, my prayer is ever, let this be the best that I have ever done, not the best I will ever do. So as I keep making that prayer, that intention, it keeps upgrading, right? It's all, all everything's a learning curve. So uh, we're going to do a timeline this time in terms of a past, present, future, where you've been where you are and where you're going on the path of true love relative to October 2019. So being that time is fluid and I'm reading a collective of hundreds of thousands of variations, we're shooting for the central theme, right? So we're, oh, and there's a surprise at the end. Unless you've watched your other sons, <laughs> uh, we're, we're going to start with Caroline Mace archetype card for you to determine uh, you, remember, the path of true love is your path. It's about you. Any other characters on the path, it's still about you. This is not about getting someone. These readings, I have no idea unless the cards come right out and say it's romantic, sexual, that it is. I try and stray away from that. So we break out of the idea that the only way that we can evolve on the path of true love is to have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a lover, a husband, a wife, a partner. If that's scripted, that's scripted one way or the other. It's all about you fulfilling your role in the divine plan. But it's quantum. It's like a video game. You're supposed to play, right? Surrender to it doesn't mean you just wait, right? It's like, okay, well, I surrender that this is a game. Now what do I do, right? And that's why divination in general can be helpful, but will never tell you what to do. It's just going to give you GPS, right? It's going to give you GPS coordinates. It'll show you the, the the supermarket on the street, but it won't show you the names of the people walking down it, right? So uh, let's go. Here we go. Please, my collective pantheon of angels, gods, masters, and the higher selves of all involved. Please, one card. What is the dominant archetype, the soul power to be alchemized from lead to gold on the path of true love for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign? in October 2019. Oh, the mother, just call me mother. Now the mother archetype, that makes a lot of sense for Capricorn, right? All the earth signs are feminine, all the water signs are feminine, all the fire signs are masculine, all the air signs are masculine. That's just the gender of astrology, right? Uh, so if you think of this as more yin, Capricorn is the mountain, right? It's, it's things grow on the mountain. The mountain itself is the mother to so many different types of life. So the mother archetype, obviously divine feminine energy, feminine family archetype, uh, the light attribute, what you're shooting for in the alchemy here. And this has nothing to do with your physical gender at all. We all have a mother within us. We all have the fathers. We all come from the goddess and to her we shall return like a drop of rain flowing to the ocean. Pagan, I am. I'm a witch. <laughs> but you know, that's my context. But you get what I mean. See, and I'm mother to my, my three kitty boys. Melky, what's the matter? You lost in the house again? It's only a three bedroom, and one of the bedrooms is locked off for them, so I don't know what, where he's getting lost. But that's mama, right? So the mother light attribute, the gold that you're shooting for here on the path. Nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. But that does not necessarily mean literal pregnancy. Of course it can, but it... Uh, my company is my child drawing the circle production. He's 21 years old. He can finally drink with mama. Uh, but it can be about your giving birth to your own creativity. Remember that the language of pregnancy is the language of creativity. You conceive, you carry, you gestate, you labor, you give birth. And then it takes on a life of its own, right, that you may have to nurture and love without condition in its light, in its shadow. Get 
ready. We're doing a mommy dearest here. Smothering or abandoning children, right? So that's a, a polar opposite within the shadow itself. Smothering them or abandoning them too much or not at all. Uh, instilling guilt in children for becoming independent, right? Uh, that passive aggressive mother thing. Uh, it's definitely the shadow side. So keep an eye on that, your ulterior motives, right? How do you know something's in the shadow? You don't want no one to know about it, usually ourselves included. So what a powerful, powerful uh, archetype to alchemize, uh, to be direct forward, moving forward on the path of true love for October. So now we'll build our timeline. Not yet. You're not even looking. I've been doing that a lot lately. Uh, here we go. First, we're going to look at one card for your past from uh, the Doreen Virtue Healing with Angels Oracle. My angels, please, one card for this Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Where have they been on the path of true love relative to October 2019? Nature. Mother. Nature. Look to the goddess Demeter if you're doing the Greek pantheon like I do. Just saying, oh, and Capricorn is a Persephone. So there we go, both mom and Dolch, darling. Uh, so we're moving on from there. We're going to look at the present. Where are you on the path of true love, right? And we're going to ask the daughters of the moon tarot and the goddess who sits in the throne of Capricorn is Persephone. So this is already feeling uh, perhaps a bit paternal, uh, maternal child, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. The energy, I just am, I felt that unconditional love and actually relaxation uh, during the, the pre-shuffle, the blessing when I bless the cards and shuffle them. So, uh, my gods, Persephone, in particular, please, one card in clarity for this Capricorn Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Where are they on the path of true love relative to October 2019? The moon. There's a lot of divine feminine energy going on here. Now, yes, the full moon, Yemaya, look her up. I mean, we are talking about a force to contend with, particularly when the moon is really about intuition. Yes, are there secrets? Are there things yet to be revealed? Of course they are. But what I love about this card, and I've had this epiphany many, many years ago, actually staying in, uh, in uh, I think it was the Pines or the Grove, I forget, uh, at a full moon, standing at the ocean, at the Atlantic Ocean, and just getting the obvious realization that wherever you walk on a full moon night at, along the shore of a lake or an ocean, that <clears throat> the path of light goes right to your feet. But the path is always under our feet. But you can really see it when at certain times, like when the, the moon is full, right? So in your present, where you are on the path right now, big divine feminine energy in terms of intuition, Yes, of course, secrets, but secrets unto yourself, something that may be unknown, but not necessarily unknowable. Uh, the unknowable, uh, uh, until we croak, there's a lot that's unknowable to us. But there are things that are unknown even within us uh, that are eventually, we will know, right? They will be known, they will be revealed because the moon does change phases very quickly from waxing to full to waning. So let's get a piece of clarity about now where you're going on the path of true love. Oh, my nose just started itching. There's been collective cokeheads. What's going on there? I just showered, so I don't know. Let's see. Isn't that a pretty face? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Please, my masters, one card. One card for this Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign on the path of true love. Where are they going on the path of true love relative to October 2019? Well, come hither. I got to tell you, come hither doesn't necessarily speak of uh, a parent-child relationship unless it's come here. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. No, this is come hither. And if you look at that, yes, the, the it's like the divine feminine is magnetizing the divine masculine, but let's stay out of gender for the purposes of this reading. Uh, maybe you are in the come hither. Maybe you are being summoned to come hither. But you see, there's a, there's a fork in the road that once you're there, you get to choose what you want to do. Boom, right? That's where you're going. You're headed towards a come hither. Nice. We'll see how that plays itself out. Because it's an odd card to put outside of any other context than romantic sexual attraction. So let's clarify this nature card with the Daughter of the Moon Tarot. My gods, please, particularly 
Oh, Persephone, by the way, I'm doing this on, I keep forgetting, today's the Thumbnail Equinox. I'm doing this on September 23rd. Persephone has reclaimed her crown in the underworld. She is queen of the underworld for six months. <clears throat> Blessed be. Oh, so now watch this. She's only in this position when she's in the upper world reaching down to her husband. Now she's in the underworld reaching up to her mother. Magic jewelry much? You have no idea <laughs> how much I know about this stuff. That's why I'm having fun with these readings. So shall we please my goddess one card of clarity <clears throat> for this capricorn collective sun moon rising venus sign on the path of true love where have they been on the path relative to october 2019 with this card of nature gemini now that could certainly be you're dealing with a gemini person and look there's no bones about it on this deck it says gemini right on it all the court cards are <clears throat> the maiden of blades mutable air so <clears throat> perhaps something in your nature or someone in your environment that has that mutable air quality that there's a lot of information going on in the recent past right this is where you've been on the path of true love which by the way this does if it's not another person sun moon rising venus saturn whoever that it's like it's sort of zooming along collective and in, collecting information collecting data that that might be very much part of your nature <laughs> pentacle <laughs> right sorry Sorry, I hope I didn't make nobody dizzy. I sort of did myself. <clears throat> so that's something there perhaps about your nature or the nature of where you were. It was very mutable air, a lot of thought, a lot of information, a lot of data, perhaps even a lot of communication, but that's why we're gonna keep clarifying this. So uh, to clarify the card of the moon, we are going to take a Chuck Spisano love pack. Please, my master's one card of clarity. For this Capricorn collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and where are they on the path of true love relative to October 2019? Oh, intimacy. Now, is there anything more intimate than the interior world of the full moon when illuminated, right? Your own interior world. So there's an internal intimacy going on there for you, uh, but that also does speak of uh, certainly an intimacy with another of some kind. Now, intimacy in and of itself does not immediately speak of romance and sexuality. I'm trying to keep that factor out of here until it shows itself, if it shows itself, because there are cards specific. That's why I use these decks for the Path of True Love to help clarify that very thing. <clears throat> But really, the intimacy with the moon, that's an emotional intimacy. That's an intuitive intimacy. That may even well be a mystical intimacy where you are on the path of true love relative to October. Nito, peachy, kino. Okay, so then we're going to clarify this come hither, right? This we should get some more data on here, right? Come hither. Please, my angels, will you please clarify for this Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign on the path of true love. Where are they going on the path of true love relative to October 2019, considering we've got this come hither card. Oh, enchantment, my least favorite word. Enchantment, something is not as it appears to be. For example, my Persephone bracelet. Actually, uh, my mom gave it to me when she was clean. When we moved from Bayshore, she's like, she's like, you want this? I'm like, yes, yes, absolutely. Persephone. It was instant, right? Well, to everybody else, it just looks like a little jingly, like hippie girl bracelet. For me, it's a totem. The queen of the underworld, the uh, spring maiden, and the summer lady all is one, right? Uh, so things are not as they appear to be. So this come hither, yes, it can mean certainly and probably in the dominant, just because I don't like the word doesn't mean that I can't read this card to really say, yes, it's like there are things going on behind the scenes that you don't know about, but that could be divine orchestration. Probably it's all part of the divine plan, <clears throat> but that you are being summoned forward, but that you have a choice. Remember, come hither, there's always a choice as to whether or not you follow the call. But what if this is about following the call of true love? Eh, enchantment? Yeah, no, that's when I turn to divination. When that card starts popping up for me, I, look, we all have to eventually become comfortable, able to endure uncertainty because there are things we're just not supposed to know on the path of true love. Hence, a mystical path all about mystery, a hero's journey. 
I mean, if Luke Skywalker found out in the first movie what he eventually learned in the third, wouldn't have been the same movie, right? Wouldn't have been the same story. By the way, your dad, dot, 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 you don't know that. I try not to do spoilers, but come on. I was a kid when that came out. So, you know, this come hither with enchantment. We have another row to clarify that, right? <clears throat> <laughs> so here we're going to clarify the past where you've been this nature with this Gemini card I have a feeling this is going to make a lot of sense because we're doing the love pack please my masters please clarify for this Capricorn collective Sun Moon rising Venus sign where have they been on the path of true love relative to October 2019 please clarify where have they been been on the path using now this card has been popping up an awful lot too i gotta say more so than i ever expected that it would the card of using it can be about using getting the information that you're getting which is part of your nature or a, a gemini a mutable air energy no, this really, really feels clearly like you've been doing your research and you've been using what you find. Look, if you've been walking on people to get it, I get that that's the definition in the, the love pack. Are you being used? Are people using you? Yeah, sure. That stuff we go through on, uh, on the path of true love. Have you been using people to gather the information? But then that card of nature, that means really it's either something in your nature or there's something really here going on with this divine feminine mother. Have you been gathering intel in the shadow? Uh, is one way that that could play out, but it could also be very much you exploring your nature and using the, the information that you find, right? Your divine nature, very possible. Because I can't shake that what's framing, okay, just to show you, we've got the mother archetype, then there's that card of nature, and then the moon, there's just, there's just something a little too major arcana about that so close. Uh, but certainly it, then the moon can be about secrets as well, right? An intimate secret. So let's clarify where you are. That's really interesting. So let's get an angel for that one. So what are we clarifying? We're clarifying the moon with intimacy. My angels, please clarify for this Capricorn collective sun, moon, rising Venus sign. Where are they on the path of true love with this card of the moon and intimacy? Please clarify. Where are they with divine guidance that the intimacy with the divine intuition of the divine feminine, that you're getting your downloads, you're getting what you need, the divine guidance is being provided. It's there for you in the now. So that really does clarify that past here. Perhaps you had to do some maneuvering to get yourself the information but when it comes to nature here with this is your next step and we're talking about the path of true love here maybe you were used in a relationship and it made you look at the nature of the situation itself and you started gathering information and studying right very possible to, but to say that as much as that intellectual pursuit might have gone on and that's a good thing to go from flower to flower to flower in terms of gathering your pollen and nectar to make honey. Sorry, I'm, just, I'm sure that's metaphoric. Uh, that now with this moon and this intimacy and the divine guidance, it's there. It just might not be showing itself mentally, right? We're looking at the moon here and we're looking at intimacy, that there's an intimacy with the divine here, which one is a mystic, one who cultivates intimacy, revels in the intimacy with and of the divine. So definitely something mystical going on here. And I have to accept that when myst when mysticism shows itself like that in a reading, there's only so much they're going to show me because, right, like I didn't even want to give spoilers about Return of the Jedi. You think they're going to let me give you spoilers on a mystical path? These are GPS coordinates. And sometimes that's all we need. You know, what do you need? What do you need? All right, let's clarify. Let's clarify this in this enchanted come hither. And what are we going to clarify that with? <coughs> Daughters of the Moon Tarot, please perceive. My gods, please clarify for this Capricorn collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. <coughs> this enchanted come hither, this come hither of enchantment with enchantment. 
please clarify for this Capricorn collector, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, where are they going on the path of true love relative to October 2019? Ma, the Justice card. Oh, oh, this might very well be a test, or maybe things are finally being rectified, put into balance. You know, the heart on the scale, I don't know that you can really see it so much, right? Because the, the heart's not actually, oh yeah, it does. Yeah, the heart is in there, a little hard to see, but can you see that the, the feather next to it on the other side? That there's a weighing here that's going on. So is this a test? Is this a, a justice moment with that come hither? You're being called forward. Now, let me just say, there are only three tarot cards, Daughters of the Moon, that I'm doing in this spread. Everything else is pretty much Oracle. Two major arcana cards, that's two out of three. Ain't bad, right? That that the divine, go to, this is about your spirituality, your spiritual path, your mystical path. Can you endure the mystery? Can you, Is this is where you're going. Of course you have choice, but come hither, you can say, swipe left well that's yeah, my left no you would see that that me too <laughs> nope not into it not gonna do it <clears throat> try again and that might very well be what this is about too to go to the divine see where you are and say you know what let this be balanced let me do this with balanced heart and mind may my heart be as light as a feather meaning open that doesn't mean you're foolish. It's about being balanced as well as in heart and mind, divine masculine, divine feminine. All of the majority of this reading is really reading. Divine feminine, but fret not, we're not done. We got more cards. We're going to go for the higher self, fifth dimensional perspective of the past, present, future. Ready? Here we go. Please. The collective higher selves of all involved. One card, please, for this Capricorn collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. A whisper of love. Where have they been on the path of true love relative to October 2019? Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Speak truthfully, Gemini communication, right? Is that part of your nature? And was there a using going on? Did you use your power wisely? Did you communicate honestly? Honesty is essential, at least honesty with yourself. Honesty about your true nature. And can I be honest with you? Our true nature is truth. Our true nature is love. And that's not fluffy bunny, la di da that's mysticism that blows up your world and that's why so many people keep it in the fluffy bunny la di da uh, category <clears throat> this is for real this is something for this very path of true love because i see honesty as a combination of truth and compassion we uh, truth without compassion is brutality said by his holiness the dalai lama so tricky there with that using card. It feels like there was some dishonesty going on there for sure. But where you are now <clears throat> on the path, really, this is so lovely, right? We've got the Yamaya, the moon with uh, divine guidance and intimacy. So loving, so warm, so relaxing. <clears throat> so please, higher selves of all involved here. One card, a whisper of love for the Capricorn Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Where are they on the path of true love relative to October 2019? True love. True love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. Is true love all about sex and romance? No, but now I'm going to say with intimacy. But you know there is intimacy between parent and child. We always say mother and child, but it doesn't mean it can't be father and child or however that plays itself out. But God, this feels that way. This feels like a deep touch to the soul, a once-in-a-lifetime love. Now, I, I don't necessarily see true love as a once-in-a-lifetime love. I understand that the higher selves, the fifth dimensional beings uh, that we truly are, right? The angels that we truly are, the higher selves, the gods, the masters that we truly are, <clears throat> have to work within the language of the oracles that I'm using. Up to me to really bring through what they're feeling there is that there is a, that the true love between you and the divine feminine, you as an embodiment, 
<coughs> whether you identify as a divine masculine or divine feminine, you're you're developing the archetype of the mother here, whether it's for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, you know, don't know that. That's absolutely going to vary throughout the collective. But that this is about the path of true love. This is the path of true love reading, and you've got the true love card. Deal. Because <laughs> I know other signs are probably like, oh, Capricorn. <laughs> In the Ascended Master Cafeteria. No, they don't do that. <clears throat> All right. Please. My, uh, the higher selves of all involved here. One card of clarity, a whisper of love for the Capricorn Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Where are they going on the path of true love relative to October 2019? Be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Now, all right, we got this come hither. We've got this card of enchantment. So it, there's something bigger going on here, something mystical, something beyond our usual realm of perception. And that we've got this justice card, Ma'at, of balance, of bringing things into balance. And it is at that time that that's the time to express love, be willing to express love because in that come hither that's what it's going to be you're going to walk up to that tree and you're going to get to choose to spit it out or swallow it <laughs> sorry but that is really it's like you spit it out or you, you swallow it right you either express what you're going to say do or don't right but that's the path of true love for you you do have free will it's just choosing a different quantum thread now caroline may is my favorite teacher upon uh, these decks that that she she designed. I mean, she's definitely got the words. I doubt she did the artwork. She might have. I don't know. I wouldn't put anything past Caroline Mace. Honestly, I adore her. Um, eh, that we're all being weighed right now. We're all we're all kind of going through this transitional path of true love thing. So you know what? Let me give you your surprise because that will will absolutely bring this into context. Yeah, we just shifted, we just shifted a quantum there right in that reading. I feel it. So please, here's your surprise: a Caroline Mace archetype card for the other, the person, place, or thing. Right, the person, place, or thing that you, as this Capricornian mother archetype will be in relationship with. That's why I wanted to save it for last in these readings so that it's not about, well, what about the other person? What about the other person, place, or thing? It's about you. It's about your path. Own your path, right? doesn't matter who the characters are ultimately. You, it, This is your path of evolution and awakening. So please, my collective pantheon of angels, gods, masters, and the higher selves of all concerned. Oh, I feel this. Please, what is the dominant archetype in relationship with and to this Capricorn collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, mother archetype for October 2019. This card just came up in the last one, too. So what that would be uh, came up in Sagittarius, the God card. We've got the divine mother and God. I so you might want to go check Sagittarius. Just saying, they got it in the exact same position, and you saw me shuffle it. <clears throat> I shuffle them in between off camera anyway. The God archetype in its light, benevolence and compassion. Uh, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. That, that's absolutely in that moon card, that where you are on the path of true love. Within yourself and others, right? It's like recognizing the eternal force, right? Though this is very divine masculine, isn't that funny? That the divine feminine would have to kind of go in for that intimacy and the divine guidance to connect with the divine masculine, just like the yin and yang, right? It's the, the black half of the circle with the white dot and the white half of the circle with the black dot. Uh, the shadow attribute, despotism and cruelty, using power to control people. Now, that's why this could be your own masculine energy. It's something to look at because it is just so drastically. Now, it would be different if it was goddess and god, but really uh, that, that, that mother archetype here so part of the feminine family, it is a feminine family archetype, and the god, the the masculine family archetype, this is pretty much a setup here, but that there is absolutely something divine, mystical going on here. If you want to take it that way, I mean, there are all sorts of different ways, but there are just 
certain things in. So whether you're dealing with somebody with the God archetype, keep that in mind. In the light, compassionate, benevolent, in the shadow, despotism and cruelty. Well, then you've really got to feel that one out about that come hither because then that enchantment might mean you have to weigh the scales. Is this fair? Is this balanced? Or are you willing to express your love? Is there going to be an honest, right? Honesty is essential. That's what you learn, that true love means truth, right? And that's true love for yourself, true love with the intimacy of the divine. Then this is going to be about, are you willing to express your love? Are they willing to express their love? Yeah, yeah. Well, Capricorn, what a wild ride of a read. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Like if it clicks, right? <laughs> Click like and subscribe, really, because this is something that feels so enduring and ongoing, past, present, future. So I will continue to read. You might want to check your Twin Flame read for September. I will be doing the Twin Flame reads relatively soon. I'm going to do something from New Moon to Full Moon next, considering the New Moon is coming up at the uh, during the weekend. I thank you so much for watching, but for now, for my Capricorns, hail, farewell, and blessed be on the path of true love. Truly, 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 blessed be.